that's TMZ. We're back on our board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta have to call it. 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 You gotta have to I just want to go Hollywood. Oh, you know, we're going on such a bullet. Oh, we are back on our bullshit at the Boob Show. We are back with. Yeah, I got this. Uh, this is this DVD VP, Ronell ENT, and I'm going to pass it to my, my right to my boy Charlie from California. Yes, sir. I mean, Mr. GSB. And what's good, Hollywood? You know, what's good? We're back on our boob. We do have to take our time off. I will take my hat off. My head is shiny ball. Uh, for a, a moment of silence for hip hop artist and pop star mm-hmm. Takeoff from the group Amigos. He actually also had a uh, a new album coming out with his uh, his uncle mm-hmm. Quavo called Only Built for Infinity Links. Mm-hmm. Uh, might be out in stores this weekend, which is crazy that every time these new guys come out with the album, they, right before it drops, before they, they drop, they have to die. Uh, Takeoff, being that they were in Houston. Uh, what happened was a straight bullet hit him from an argument that was transpired over. It started off from being a dice game, what it sounds like. The dice game turned into an argument from the videos that it looked like. The argument stemmed over the dice game, spilled over to basketball. Quavo being upset uh, with a, a group of people he was talking to. He said the words, let's go. They started to fight, and next thing you know, shots started to ring off from a guy that was supposedly of this guy. So it's looking like they have a suspect at large right now. Yeah. It seems to be a guy that was with them that got over antsy and shot. Needless to say, it's still senseless violence mm-hmm. in hip-hop. Black on black crime possibly yeah. could be. Uh, so Takeoff being the, not one of the most popular members of the Migos, but he was really known for his ad-libs and, his just lyrics. Kind of, and his lyrics and kind of like piecing those guys together. I honestly feel like he probably has some of the toughest lyrics out the group. Being that I didn't really listen to these guys that much, I've heard that a lot. But the only thing that I really heard him was always his ad libs. But I always heard the thing that, and what most people are reading about this one guy with this group is he wasn't boastful. He wasn't out there a lot. Yeah. Even that day that he was murdered, yeah. he was still in the back of the scene watching everything as it took off and the straight bullet hit him. Um, so wrong place at the wrong time. Hey, quick question too. I want another question. I'm just gonna give you a heads up. Hey, there was some. Um, there was a conversation also that transpired prior, before. Oh, I know y'all all seen the videos as far as when you know what went down and that argument. But there was also conversations that had took place prior, before. All those um, for that heated argument supposedly started. Right. So, um, with that being said, um, I'm not gonna place any judgment or say, "Hey, this is why it happened," or if it was an accident or whatsoever, because I'm not judge or jury to make that decision. But from what I'm hearing from some sources, mm-hmm. um, is that there's more to this story than. Yeah, yeah. And, and while I say it's more to this story, yeah. uh, about a month ago in Houston, yeah. there was another dice game involved in uh, Boosie, the rapper Little Boosie, Boosie Badass. Yeah. Uh, Jay Prince Jr., mm-hmm. who was part of the Houston scene, which is his father, Jay Prince, and uh, some group of people. Wasn't the Prince family at this event yes. that um, Takeoff just recently got yeah. up? It's, 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 it's both sons, Jazz Prince and Jay Prince Jr., but this one with Boosie. Uh, with, with Jay Prince and a, a guy from Chicago, Duke the Jeweler, an upcoming jeweler. He was shot and robbed for approximately his jewelry mm-hmm. and somewhat near a million dollars allegedly. Now, after this, you come to the same spot in Houston. Another rap group who's supposed to be, you know, we do all these check ins in places, but when you're hanging out with the top dog, you already feel like you checked in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So now he's hanging out with the top guy. Uh, mm-hmm. They're hanging out. One thing that I would love to tell to the people out here, upcoming artists, and people that just want to be into what we call uh, hood tactics and hood things. If you make enough money to be considered a pop star when you have a million dollars in your pocket, and people are going out there to try to get what you have, 
don't be so quick to do illegal gambling. What illegal gambling is, I don't want to sound like a snitch, but rolling dice in the back of a building with a couple of guys that have nothing to lose isn't giving you notoriety. If you have enough money, go to a casino. They might rob you. Yeah, but they're not gonna kill. They ain't gonna kill you. Mm-hmm. you know, yeah. You're yeah. gonna get robbed regardless. Yeah, mm-hmm. but they're not gonna kill you. When you go into these places, you're not from Houston. You're in Atlanta. You don't have that. I'm just in that that situation with Duke. Yo, I'm just in that situation with Duke too. I mean, that's a, that's just another situation that I you know I got my little inside source or to that. Um, when you. I'm not, I'm not even gonna, matter of fact, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dead that. I don't even mention that no how many, more. How, I'll leave that how many dice games have you ever been a part of since you've been a grown man over 21? The last guys dice game I was in was when I was 18. That's why I said over 21. Zero? Zero, yes. Never. I never played. Zero. Zero. When you go after you've been in certain neighborhoods, you understand at a young age that dice games will get you killed. Get you killed. And they usually end up bad. So, when we know these things, it's just a day. Again, I might sound like a snitch, but I'm your boy, DV to VP. I, I want to see people alive, and I like, I'm tired of seeing these young artists die over senseless deaths when they have enough money to start so much stuff. Mm-hmm. But even though he didn't do anything, I can't blame him. I can't say, hey, you shouldn't have been there, take off, because he wasn't shooting dice. He was just standing back and he got a shot. Mm-hmm. He was just being quiet. He was being quiet like yeah. he always is. However, he was minding his own business. Mind your business. But when you have hotheads with you, yeah, that's a problem. When you have people that are exactly. with you. Well, like, like, like I said, he knew, I mean, he knew they, the people who was going to be around too. So yeah. Yeah. There was a chance that they could they, they, right? they keep right, those. And they bring, when you even, those situations, right, is that they tend to bring these trigger finger dudes with them. So if something does pop off, they're going to have somebody's going to Somebody's going to... Let me ask you a question, though. When you portray this image... And you're really not about that? And you're not about that. When you tell... Then you end up shooting many, some random bullets and... You, not even that, sure. but if you're music, you know, some, there's been some people that say this was justifiable because of the music that he brought to people's neighborhoods and killing, riding and sliding. It's kind of like, hey, once it happens to you, it's not an injustice. Mm. It's something that your heart desired because mm. you may manifest, manifest, you manifest, you manifest, you manifest it. it yeah. Because mm. you, may you talk manifest. about it and you, you talk about it, you live that life if all the time. You, if you talk and about and it. eventually, I mean, he, maybe he may not live that life like that in the beginning, but then once he started having the money and said, Oh, well, let's go around the area and want to live that lifestyle, guess what? He brought it to himself, perhaps. Exactly. I mean, that's that's, that's, that's that, that. I call that the 6 9 era. The 6 9 era. So yeah. I call that the 6 9 era. Uh-uh. He so, never really was a thug. But then all of a sudden, the, the, the industry, going back to the last segment, yeah. we were talking about mental wealth, mental wealth, you know, but that's practically what happened. It, it you sign into these contracts to practically say you have to behave a certain way, and this is the so image that you have to give to the public. They and profile then you. They yeah, and they give you a profile, tell you this is who you got to be, you got to present yourself at all times like this. And they get, if you're not that type of person, guess what? Your contract's you, you, you might, you might, you might, you might, you know, you don't know what I'm saying? Because, yo. Like we were talking about what PNB Rock a couple weeks ago, you know what I'm saying? Same situation, you know what I'm saying? He, he went to Cali thinking, you know, he was the Don Don Diva, you know what I'm saying? And he's carrying on with no protection. No protection. And that's the problem is that yeah. when you are really not hoodie hood, right. you know, you can have a little hood. Everybody got a little hood in them, yeah. you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Protection. But, when you, but when you're really hoodie hood, you know. Then when you when you do a step like this, there should be somebody stepping with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If if you if you that and if you're doing this if you're doing a step like this, you know okay I'm good by myself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you can't determine that and you're claiming that you're a hood, that's a bad situation because that means you're gonna legitimate like he did. He's gonna rock and all of this, bro. I remember I used to go up to Brandon Moore. And you could call Malcolm receipts too. I'm, I'm to not calling Malcolm anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but like real G, yo, I yo, I have my my long chain on and all that good shit. But guess what? One thing that I always kept on me, right? A receipt. A receipt. Or uh, and we call receipts. Exactly. These nowadays. Exactly. Gotta have so, your receipts. Real talk. I yo. Just and yo, they try to tax you. Yeah. 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 I know when, I, when you hood, when you hood too, you're so paranoid, right? right? And this is why I can tell like some of these individuals they're not what they say they are, right? It's because you're not, your head's not. Okay. They're not, you're not, it's not. 
You know what I'm saying? If I'm walking through the mall and I'm, I'm flashing, you know what I'm saying? Because it's bread, and so you kind of feel like, oh, you could yeah, flash. Yeah. But you know how it really is. So guess what ends up happening, right? You walking through the mall. Brandon, I got, dude, I got no, so, a girl. Somebody looks at you because they see your chain, and you're smiling because you're like, oh, they like my chain. Really not knowing that they're scoping you out like, yo, can, can we catch him outside? Yeah. Yo, yo, thinking that burn. Me, I'm the person. You look at the chain, I go like this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, 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 I stretch out like this, so you see the hair like, yo, it's gonna go down. But then again, it. some people are like, oh, you like my chain? They gonna start flossing even more. Some people actually like that. That's attention. what that's what I'm saying. Some people most, might go and say, hey, you want like, to check it out, bro? You know, most of these end up they don't know. They better. don't know better. We're we're from where we're from. We're gonna like okay. Just to be safe, because I don't know what you about, let me just flex so you can kind of see. see you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, see, you can yeah, 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 this yeah, show yeah. too much. It seems like working out body by Chris. <laughs> So this is the thing, on. and so I, I was looking at, I was following a, a, a bodyguard on Instagram. We have to check back and keep the protection so more artists go higher if something happens to them. So yes, when they're behind, when they jump behind, the person's getting shot at. They don't have to worry. Once that person gets hit, they stop shooting. They stop shooting. <laughs> they stop shooting. <laughs> so the thing is, with a lot of, for what I feel, a lot of our, our rappers and guys that do have bodyguards, if they don't hire their friend, mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're trying to hire people and they're saying, relax. You don't have to. When these people are taking pictures, I don't want to have an image of I look soft. Yeah. Nobody wants to look like Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Floyd Mayweather, he's surrounded by big bodyguards. Pop stars, uh, pop stars like Madonna, like one guy said, Madonna and Taylor Swift. When you see these people, when you saw Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. when you saw pop stars, you seen their bodyguards. You didn't have to see this man by himself. Even you know Michael Jackson mm -hmm. has people with you. Yep. It may seem like it draws attention, but it's also a deterrent. What these guys want to feel is, you give me all this money, I have $10 million in the bank. I have 10 million reasons why I should be protected. Yeah, yeah. Because I want to get 10 million more. more. Exactly. You get it? Yeah. So once I have all this money, if I have some money. good enough, then it's worth it. You worth know, it. but again, some of these guys, they, they don't want to pay a guy to watch them. Yeah. 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 But then again, yeah. sometimes, out. If, they're, if they're good for money, they can also buy it out too. If hey, someone else is eight, check this out. on top of that 10, just pay down. Check this out. I'll give you 20. I want you to check this out. All you major insurance companies uh -huh. that's writing these insurance contracts mm -hmm. for these major labels, mm -hmm. major production companies, mm -hmm. and writing these contract insurance contracts on top of these actors, these artists, as far as saying if they die, the, the production company is going to get how many million, million dollars because they're going to be losing out because this person is gone now. Definitely. What I honestly think the insurance company should put into their policies is that these production companies right mm -hmm. and these record labels and entertainment companies it's mandatory that they pay for the bodyguard and protection for these right. artists if they want to keep these insurance policies right. on them not the artists paying for it themselves but these entertainment and production companies paying for it because if they're the one that's going to make the money for the insurance claim I yeah, don't know. Well, the insurance companies, they, they can do it. They, 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 they can't work, though. But let me tell you, but think if, about if, it. You're not seeing Britney Spears get murdered. You're not seeing Sam Smith get murdered. It's not with everybody. Well, 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 technically, well, technically, well, technically well, no. Te it's bingo. So there are plenty of Wait. artists and people that's dying in the industry, right? right. But the problem is, is that the, the hip-hop genre are the, the ones that are getting popped. Yeah, they're dying violently. You get what I'm and saying? then the other ones, they're not dying as violently. They but you got to just think about it, right? The, you, the bingo, right? What's the difference from somebody getting shot and yeah. being oh, waking up in there, waking up in the hotel room, and they die from an overdose, overdose yeah. and the investigation is yeah, tossed? Yeah, your boy said, your, your boy, yeah. I know everybody don't want to talk about it, but he said in his last interview, when he said he stopped taking his medicine, he said it was a certain type of lawyer that had gave the medicine. And he didn't want to be like Prince Michael Jackson or Wendy Houston, so he said, well, he hadn't took his medicine okay. for two years because he said, you know, the way they do it is, 
They give you this big bag. They want you to get hooked on it. No, no, no. They still just want you in their bag. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's 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 one of them's going to be that bad. One of them's going to be that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that sad. Yeah. Yeah. So after yeah. you take that bad one, it's it. the other ones ain't bad. Yeah. And you can go check that bag yeah. all the other bags. It's all, it's all legit. But it's all in that system of that one person. Yeah. They, it's a crazy game, but now we're looking at rappers. Like roulette, Russian roulette kind of. You're looking at people that have way too much money. 50 Cent has a show coming out. Mm-hmm. We should have said all oh, those good Hollywood or whatnot. Okay. 50 show, I think it's called, it talks about dead rappers. Okay. This thing, this show we had going on now was a list of dead rappers. We're not talking about dead pop stars. Okay. We're talking about dead rappers. Mm-hmm. Which is a lot. Which, basically, we're talking about a profession in a certain group that banks in a lot of money and makes a lot of people wealthy, but these people are not even going to have generational wealth because they're children. These kids, these guys are down where their kids are under five years old. Their kids will mm-hmm. never hear about the little yeah. bit of music that their father had and the impact like, yeah. somebody might yeah. have said your father had. It is a positive impact. Uh, another thing, not trying to move on from takeoff and the death, you know, rest in peace to him. Uh, you know, Master P daughter, she, uh, Passed away a while back. Mm-hmm. Reports came out that it was an accidental fentanyl overdose. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, even with that, people aren't still protected the way that they want to be. So, when we have these problems with drugs in Hollywood, you know, your favorite artist might be going through stuff. Don't always want to emulate and be trendy to the favorite people that you want because sometimes these people can lead you down the wrong path facts and so you know you want to be bad and bougie you want to be like the amigos that doesn't mean that you got to be so hood that you see people in videos shaking dice that every dice game you see you got to run to that every car race you see yeah. you got to run to every ass shaking competition even though we want to go to strip clubs <laughs> we don't have millions of dollars he's like that's so i'm really not really being watched like that yeah so yeah. you got to have it people people want what you have and when you have it, and you're just so amped to be like, hey, take it, take my life. I'm here in the open. You're going to get these results because it's kind of like you're begging for that attention so much. When there's an opportunity, people are going to try it. They're going to, they're going to try, they're going to try it. it. If you're flashing it that much and you're and you're about being careful about it, they're going to fall off. Oh, that's easy. He's putting himself on blast. He's by himself. Let's go. And now the thing is, we got all we got takeoff. Mm-hmm. The serious question that we ask on what good Hollywood is: Who's next? That's a terrible question to have to ask. But the the whole thing is, which one of you rappers is next? Is it going to be somebody? Because since we started this, what's good Hollywood somewhat in these last couple of weeks, we've had P and B, we've had Duke the Jeweler. We talked about Mm -hmm. with a Bootsy being a rapper in Texas, and now we have Takeoff. Mm -hmm. The question I ask next week is, who will we talking about next? Because is it what's good Hollywood, or is it? How do we mourn rappers? Facts. So, you know, with that, we want to keep on being positive. Yep. Uh, the Lakers won one game. You get what I'm saying? Orlando Magic has a great rookie right now in Blanchero. He's really oh, back up. Yeah. Man, oh, he's, he's good. good. He's doing he's it. He's good. They said, he, they said his numbers are compared to numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. Oh, FYI, too. Oh, <coughs> Since we are on What's Good Hollywood. Cough on me. Yeah, but, oh, I told you, I get on me, Steve. There ain't no COVID in here. Is that cough dander? Yeah, like, <laughs> like, I had a hairball. Michael, <laughs> Mike, Michael, Michael is not here. To, Michael's not on these segments, but he'll be back on feet heat. I still got um, oh, yeah, 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 I got yeah. some. I was the eights in the box. He got more team. He got more team Jordans. I don't know what this is about. Uh, you know what? We still <laughs> gonna do PE because we here. These are the Air Python Jordan boots. <laughs> these are the Air Jordan Mars. Air Jordan Mars. All the dark. Jordan Jordan lights and a wolf. Metallic mm. eights. Ooh we. And so we got these perfect Kyrie's on. Yeah. Oh, we got we got the boots. We got the we got, boots. We got the plantar fasciitis ones on. Hey, don't hey, don't you know get those. We still got what's, those. What's the bionic? Oh, yo, they call plantar fasciitis. What's the name? Oh, yo, they they call, call, they call, they call, plantar fasciitis. What's the name? What's the name? The Bregs. The Bregs. 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 Oh, they the Bregs right there, boy. Bregs. And, Bregs. And, and, speak, and speaking of all the stuff that we got going on, our cameraman has on the Kyrie's. And get in the picture. And if we know right now, like we know right now, shoot, I, 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 I'll give him one. You know what I'm saying? You see how we do my thing. We yeah. all know how we do here. Yeah. Hey, you can come down and do a walkthrough. 
Boom. 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 Now, we all know what those shoes are right now, right? Those are our Kyrie Irvins right now, right? And Kyrie can get some shit too. Kyrie yeah. is also yeah. in the news right now because of the book that he had. So now again, with this book that Kyrie spoke about, nothing wrong with this book. It wasn't anti-Semitic. Wasn't none of that. It's a book that Kyrie said he actually wanted to learn his history of Brooklyn. With that book, just because he posted it on this thing, we have people that are still with the community, but always want to act out. We have Shaquille O'Neal mm-hmm. and Charles Barkley. Oh yeah. Both speak and say that he should have been suspended for that book. For the NBA for posting that. Yeah. Why does Kyrie Irving keep on being in the news for just wanting to be an individual who plays basketball? Yeah. And not be controlled. If he didn't want to get vaccinated, yep. if he do, if he has his own beliefs, yep. where is the problem? No, there's nothing wrong. Yeah, you should let, let the man be. Let yeah. the man be. But they're saying, no, you can't be in the NBA. You, you, you know what it is? It's about the NBA, their reputation. They don't want to look like he overpowered them. Because know? they have. They have. Because if he, can say, if he can say, hey, well, you know, cause there's going to be a lot of other players that are going to say, well, if he did it, then we didn't need to get it either then. Right. You see what I'm saying? So they're, they're, what they're trying to do is they're trying to make sure that everybody does it just to say that it's fair. But what they should have done was they should have all... They owned that made an apology for that. Yeah, they got COVID. Just New York just passed that law yeah. where yeah. all of yeah. all the people got to get paid back money. So if and the they government... Get their jobs back. And they get their jobs back. Yeah. So, y'all, yo, NBA, all you side, y'all owe Kyrie an apology for yeah. that nonsense. And, 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 y'all, and y'all bet, yeah, because he played in Brooklyn, New York. Yo, yeah. y'all, y'all owe him some money. And they got their jobs yeah. back. Yeah, y'all yeah. better pay that. So, he needs to get so that's what it is. That's what it is. Y'all don't want to give this man his money. Is that what it is? And man, please that's, tell me that's not what it is. That's yeah, they want to give him his money, so they're trying to find every freaking reason to yep. come after him. And yep. now it's, it seems that he's also on that anti thing as well. You get what I'm saying? Uh, so my question to y'all is, does Kyrie after this year get a max player contract? Or does he now become... Free agent, a free agent where nobody they wants want. to sign him. And but like, does he get canceled? Let's just call it. Is he going to get canceled? Can you can you cancel somebody as fluential as Kyrie? Because he had if the Lakers trade Russell Westbrook, bro. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! They canceled Nick Cannon, but they had to bring him back eventually. But no, no, so my question is this: though, also a good Hollywood, the Celtics coach. Mm-hmm. So he got he got he got suspended. We didn't run along uh, right because he was. Clapping cheeks with people in the under staff, mm-hmm. right? Okay. Allegedly. So they fired Steve Nash from oh, Brooklyn wow. Nets. Mm-hmm. Wow. And now they're about to try to hire your your coach that was suspended from the well, matter of fact, they are hired. They are? The paperwork is getting filed out now. He's gonna be the he's gonna be the coach for the Brooklyn Nets. Mm-hmm. How do you go from scandal in Boston to being the coach from the Nets? Hey, so let uh, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna go back on some history real quick about about the tri-state and Massachusetts. So if you know about the tri-state, right, that's New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, right? right. And then you have Massachusetts. That's like the fourth tri No, that ain't the fourth. They're their own state. Okay. Their own state. They're only their state. You know what I mean? But the tri-state is New York, Connecticut, New Jersey. Okay. Then we have Massachusetts. The tri- Massachusetts. The is like, is like Cincinnati, Indiana, and uh, Chicago. Exactly. With Massachusetts, it's always been an issue with Massachusetts giving us New York players your players. For hey, y'all gave me. They, they gave it. Did they not give us Bob? They gave you a Bob. Okay. Good. Okay. So if we go down the list, we have. There's always been a trend of New York swapping out with Massachusetts, vice versa. With um, with players and so forth and coaches, so you can if you mess up in Massachusetts, you almost got a guaranteed job in New York because in New York, the way we're gonna look at it's like, oh, you messed up over there, yo, we'll take you. <laughs> Vice versa, in Massachusetts, if you mess up in New York, they gonna be like, oh, you messed up over there, yeah, yeah, we're gonna take you because it's the fact that you're a coach in Massachusetts. And you're coming to New York, that gives New York the advantage against Massachusetts. There's, when it comes to sports yeah. in Massachusetts and New York, there's a lot of bad blood. 
Okay. So that's why they do it. Basically, that's, that's why they, they do it. They, they, they want insiders. They, they, like it. they yeah. want to know, hey, tell us what's going on. What's, what's their format? Okay. How are they are coaching? What's their secret? What's their yes. strategy for this year? It's a venomous thing between New York and Massachusetts. That's yes. a, that's wow. a good thing. So, we, you know, and, and with this, what's good, Hollywood, we got next week's show. I, I just don't know what's going to happen next week, Steve. So, but, but I got a question for you. Okay. You know you're a movie buff. Okay. Have you watched any movies? And what movies are you going to be watching next week that we can talk about? Okay. So, first to start off, right? Movie that I'm going to be watching next week to talk about. I'm trying to see One Piece Red. That's Japanese anime. Is that the whole name of the One Piece Red? One Piece, oh, okay. One Piece is the name of the series, and Red is the name of the movie, right? Okay. Um, this is their 15 installment, all right? Did you know about that? Mm-mm. As you got to be an anime junkie. All the anime, yeah, anime is going to get a lot and a lot. Bro, we probably get the most views on this video just because I mentioned this jag on cartoon. Like, it's probably it's not even joking. What's the cartoon called again? One Piece. Bullshit. I mean, that's <laughs> one piece. The movie is one. It's one piece. So, bro, this cartoon is... You beat that up? No, I just said, because I mean, I know we're back on that. I, I don't want to beat the monitor. And do not bring that cough in to me again, Steve. I'm okay, very high cough. <laughs> So, I'm definitely One Piece, Movie Red, that's coming out on the 7th. Um, I do believe Black Adam, I do want to go see Black Adam. He wasn't um, black, Steve. I know that. I knew that. No, the whole time, I'm like, Black Adam, I went there to go see it. Even though they said it was the rock star in it, I still thought. Bro, black Adam's not black in the comic book. He's, he's not. not. No, he's that's not. what I'm He's not. He's it's not. just the name. Yeah, but you know not. what? It, he's, he's, a, a, he's Shazam's. Shazam's. Yeah. Shazam's. Um, are they cousins? No, they're enemies. Oh, but you yeah. know, you know what happened in this thing. Like, Superman in the movie, you know, Black Adam. Yeah, you just spoiled it for these yeah. people. Oh, I'm not gonna see that. Out. Out. Oh, oh, I see the trailer. I see the end of the trailer. I didn't even see it. It was on TikTok. He came out. He was like, somebody told me. He's like, somebody told it for me. I said, what? What's all? Whoa, 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 I, I didn't cut the movie all the way through. It was kind of like watching Hogan Heroes and not seeing Hulk Hogan. <laughs> okay, but you got to understand the concept behind Black Adam, right? What was the concept? So, Black Adam, believe it or not, is one of the more powerful villains. Because a lot of people, he's not a hero. Black Adam is not a hero. He was always a villain. Vigilante. Yeah. yeah. He's a vigilante. Vigilante, if y'all want to call him that. But he kills. Yeah, right. so at the end of the day, Black Adam has never been really a good, good guy in the comic books, but at the same time, he's always been very powerful, oh, okay? Yes. Um, kind of kind of example, too. Anything that you have with a dark color, right, in the comics, I'm just being real, they tend to give you, right, you either get a lot of power or you don't get a lot of power. Is that why yeah. everybody, in, uh, like, when I was hearing uh, the Spanish people talking about it, it was like, Adam the Negro. And I said, what? Yo, Adam the Negro. You said Adam the Negro. I said, what? You're saying Black Adam? Yeah. No. Nah. Word for word. Yeah. No, I was okay. like, Adam, 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 Adam of the Black. Do y'all know who the strongest hero is? Thor. In Marvel. In Marvel? Marvel? Thor. No. No. Cut him off. Nope. Who? Blue Marvel. Blue, Blue Marvel. Marvel. Or is it Marvel? Or is it, is it, is it, is it, is it Marvel Man? No. Blue is it Wonder Man? No. Because Wonder Man is no. Blue. No. Wonder Man ain't crap. To compare to Blue Marvel? Blue Marvel is the strongest Marvel hero. Bro, I'm, I'm going to, because I don't want to hurt the white okay. feelings. Y'all all research this. Blue Marvel for Marvel. I know, I know that read, that, even I, in I, one I of the comic is, uh, books. There is actually a Marvel Cali. comic encyclopedia. That's about this thing. Callie, have you ever heard of Blue Marvel? Never. In your life? You know why you never heard of because Blue Marvel? Because this never exists. <laughs> nah, I, I think I'm joking. No, yeah. no, no, no. I'll tell you what. There, I, I've seen a, uh, like an encyclopedia Blue for all, all Marvel characters in there. It's like, they no, no, bro. I'm just serious. And he's black? Yes. Let me see. So why did they make black Adam black? <laughs> no, that's not about Blue Marvel. Blue Marvel, you got to understand, right? When Stan Lee made Blue Marvel, right? You know how Stan Lee was always, he's always he's subliminal. Always, yes. You know what I'm saying? So even in the one of the comic books, right? Stan Lee loved black women. He, he practically, the president said to Blue Marvel, was like, hey, we know you're like the strongest, but it would put fear into people if they knew how strong you was. They had to go in a ah, You see what Stanley was doing? Uh, I, I, I look, even in the comic, right? They legitimately. He Blue was Marvel so black. Was he was fighting, um, 
Red Marvel? No, he was fighting um Green I Marvel. Who he was? Hold on. Um, white Marvel. Hey, who, who's White Marvel? I'm sure that was his uh, characters. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that was his, his first behavior. <laughs> nah, but he was <laughs> fighting. I forgot who he was fighting. One of the stronger. Uh, uh, here, here on What's Good Hollywood, we are concerned about our Marvel here. What is it? Is it Marvel and uh, what's that? DC, the DC, DC universe? comics. DC Marvel comics. and yep, Marvel. So my, my one guy that used to be the oh, Marvel. Oh, Blue Marvel, Marvel is also an Avenger. He's an Avenger. Yes, he is. I've never seen him on the Avengers. Also, yeah. oh, maybe he'll take over for He's Black Panther and be another black guy. No, he can't, bro, because he's the, you gotta understand, he's he's so powerful, bro, he's the most powerful superhero, period, bro, okay, question. he got into a fight with Hulk, if, I, if I'm correct, him and Hulk was fighting, he was fighting, and they legitimately had to, like, strike him right. and the other guy, I think it was Hulk he was fighting, it was, I forgot who it was, but it was another powerful person, but it was so bad that it was destroying, the, them fighting was destroying the earth, and they had to break the fight up. It was a fight between two good guys. Wow. A fight between oh, uh, two black heroes. heroes. Green. Two um, heroes. There was two heroes, but guy, um, I do believe it was the Hulk. I got to go back and check. It was the now, Hulk. now, is he considered an, an alien, a mutant, or a, a god, or a what? Marine Corps. No, no. He's a, he's he's a, a, he was a Marine Corps. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. so, 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 I, I don't remember how he got his spot. No, it was supposed to spider, but no, he's he's cosmic power. He's like yeah. He's, oh, he has cosmic power. Yeah, he's from the level. Yeah. Water. So he he. Oh, yeah, power. I think I remember reading about uh, certain characters who got the cosmic powers. He has most part strongest power. So yeah, he's and the that's strongest. the reason why. Then, yeah, I believe that he's the strongest one. He's the strongest. The cosmic president, power. the president in the comic book <clears throat> said to him in the comic book, "We cannot let people know." Did he have that? that powerful? Because it will put fear in the people's heart. You do not. <laughs> that was Stan Lee trying to tell the you, CIA like, CIA yeah. says if you're too powerful, you'll stick. Yep. You. It's a fear of yep. the black planet. And for that being said, what's good, Hollywood? What's good, Hollywood? What's good, Hollywood? Love y'all. Maybe this is the first week of November. We will be back in the second week of November to give you more V heat. More what's good Tampa, more what's good Hollywood, more mental health awareness. What else do we got to get? Oh, we coming. Oh, couple weeks we're gonna be bringing out the prank channels. So Ooh, F M H. Oh yeah. Taking my head. We also got our fitness by our fitness guru here. We got Chris. Is there? We we got our. We cannot forget Coach. That's right. Hello, me, the man with the most. Dangalang, swangalang. Everybody knows. DB the VP. Full name, baby. Long live Ron Nelson. Your boy SB, Mr. G. Summer Bell. I want to say hey, because of this segment, we don't see again, Laura. I'm going to always say hey, Laura. Where you at, Laura? And I also want to say what's up to Mike. We miss you, brother. See you, Mike. Chris Dowers. Right no, yeah, exactly. When, 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 when Chris Dowers here, Laura, now here. I don't know what that means. But Mike hey, missed out. Mike missed out. Yeah, Mike missed out. He would have been doing this anyway. <laughs> Yeah, and then he went about disappeared. Right? Hey, where you go? I just did the mic. I just did the mic. I'll just play with you, Mike. I'll just play with you, Mike. I'll just play with you, Mike. <laughs> nah, yo, we still got happy heat coming in. But I'm, I'm gonna meet up with Mike later on. Um, not tonight, but probably tomorrow, and um, we'll get that recorded for y'all because there's some fire views that's coming out soon. Right. In the contest? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We also got the um the, the Jordan for the Jordan for military force that the raffle that. What Wait, size are they? See, those are nine and a half. I don't give a. Ch okay, they cut off. <laughs> well, I don't give a half. Now, but but that's gonna. But we're saving that reason why we're trying to delay because we're gonna be adding more sneakers to it, and we want that to be something. Can we get man sizes? That is a man size. Eight above eight is a man considered man size. Yeah, real man size. Can you be like a size twelve? You wear a size twelve, but yes, I do. Well, I wear nine and a half, my dude. How do you have? I wear nine and a half. Nine what is this? Nine half ten. That's um. Unfortunately, that's an Asian trait. You don't get that far. <laughs> 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 Come on, that's what you have. That's all. We got two size. We got a size twelve here. We got size. <laughs> they call the yeah, there we go. We got twelve here too. They call the yeah, There we go. There we go. Thank you, Chris. I, I'm not the only guy with a yeah. right here. Oh, yo, I wear gray pants to the gym all the time, and I knew. I know what that means. I'll be back on my bullshit. <laughs> I don't care what that means. My mother stole my gray sweatpants. Hey, mama. 
I know great sweatpants for you. They got a, a lump in the front. And we out of here. We out here, guys. Back on our bullshit. Back on our bullshit.